Hello everyone, it's Mystic Juicer back with some more Yomi action. Got a really exciting match for you tonight. Uh, it's the West Realm Finals of the International Yomi League Season 3. Or sorry, West Realm Semifinals for International Yomi League Season 3. Raziak versus Jenga Jam. And joining me in the casting booth today, I have a very special guest, uh, Klanatoy. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's going very, very good. Really excited for this match. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I think we'll see the these underplayed and seldom seen uh, Captain Zane come out of <laughs> I think I think there's a very, very good shot that we're going to see Zane. I, I had a quick look at the, um, uh, the matchup chart just to see if these two contestants have fought each other before. Mm -hmm. um, and as I'm <laughs> consistently discovering, even though there's like 7,000 or whatever matches recorded, um, so few of them have been against, like, you know, you'd think these like high-level players, like Jenga Jam's been around forever, Raziak's been around for a really long time as well, at least a year, uh, probably more, like two, two, three years. I think he was around before me, so it's he was playing in version one, I think. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's right, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> now, I, I, of course, I did start the spreadsheet very recently, but uh, from what I can tell, they've only played four matches together. <laughs> oh, dang. Um, and uh, the way it worked out is that... Uh, so, uh, Raziak has only ever played Zane against Jenga Jam. Okay, uh, makes sense. Jenga Jam has played Troc and Grave against him. Okay. So this is in tournament sets. Uh, I don't know what tournament they were in. Could be could be anything. Could have been a best of seven. Um, but in any case, they went uh, one in one in Zane versus Grave, and Raz won two zero. <laughs> Zane versus Troc. Okay. Um, so Makes sense. yeah, kind of an inversion of the typical. <laughs> what is, what does your your chart have on that matchup? What's the Oh god! Like the the total oh, all time the, yeah, all the players total chart. all time tournament record for it. Because I was I'll, I've been saying for a while that I don't think the matchup's that bad for Zane. Uh, as long as he doesn't blow up all his options that that beat King, he could still get his Zane combos and his combat wins are worth like two Troc wins. That's true. And then he still has the MA play, which is always a thing. Uh, he just can't go for it on like a super low hand because then Troc could wreck it with yeah, war stomps. Yeah, war stomps for days. A very, very <laughs> scary situation. Because last time I played Raziak in the matchup, he was able to get, uh, he was able to get Maxim Anarchy, and we did the dance of yep. death <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yeah. So did you have did you have two attached uh, blocks at the time? You you were able to th unleash the the true power of dubstep. I can't remember if I had two attached. I'm, I remember being block star for a lot of that game. Uh, that was the one game I won in the set versus him. Uh, <laughs> and then he switched to BBB after that and okay. got a perfect, so it didn't go well. For <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I think I think Raziak has said more recently that um, he doesn't feel like it's Zane's worst matchup anymore. Um, I think he's shifted... Uh, to saying that Onimaru Zane, oh wow, is uh, is more difficult. Hmm, um, that's interesting. Yeah, which I could I could kind of see. Um, I mean, yeah, I could see I could see it being hard, but his Zane's got dodges for days and they're free damage, and Onimaru's throws are so terrible. On the other hand, the only thing that he can really, you know, like really really threaten off of a dodge is Max Anarchy. Um, he yeah. doesn't have huge payoff off of his uh, off of his dodges. He can go for knockdown. But then you're in the same situation you're in in neutral, essentially. Like, Onimaru just has an infinite, a seemingly infinite amount of tools uh, to be able to beat media attacks or trade uh, nicely with media attacks. Yeah, so I mean, the nice thing about Ace, though, is it... I mean, it stops the media, but it doesn't attach. Like, so, so Zane could trade 9 for 1. Yeah, you still which... have Queens, you have any final authority, you have the 5 attack. Like, it's just an yeah. awkward... <laughs> you just you never feel safe uh <laughs> attacking, I can see that, yeah. <laughs> attacking a knockdown Oni. It's just like is he gonna win? it's kind of like the same thing with a Zane. It's kind of like a, a similar mix up that he or, or a similar range that Onimaru has when he's knocked down as Zane has when he's knocked down. Like hmm. you can you can block, or if you think he's gonna push any kind of button, you just 
push a really good button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> explode, right? <laughs> uh, so so uh, I've been monkeying with my with my form, so I've had to delete some stuff. Let's see. Okay. It's coming online slowly. Unfortunately, there's a lot of, lot more math going on behind the scenes now <laughs> than there used to be. Okay, okay. so we've got uh, Zane Schrock. Okay, so historically, it's pretty awful uh, in terms of total tournament performance. Hilarious. Um, we've had... Let's see. It's 41 wins for Zane to 87 wins for Trock, which oh, is 32% win rate uh, for, for hmm. Zane in the matchup. But uh, keeping in mind, so... You got a lot of people playing Zane. Exactly. There's a lot of people playing Zane. There's a lot of people playing Troc. So <laughs> that is a ma it's a very very popular matchup. Uh, just looking at the ones around it, it's nearly double or triple the frequency that you see other matchups. So that mostly, I mean, that's going to represent um, a lot of different skill levels playing. Um, a lot of you know people who maybe don't understand the matchup as well. Yeah. Uh, as yeah, someone yeah. like Raz uh, or Jenga would understand it. Yeah, if you don't get the matchup, I, Troc would kind of just walk all over Zane. If you just try to do a standard Zane stuff and yeah. go for meaties every time. With, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with these sweet meaties, and then you get pinged and jacked all day. Like, yeah. So What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. It seems like on when Zane's knocked down, he's got to play some sort of... I mean, when, when Troc's knocked down, Zane's got to either play a block, uh, I guess a dodge if you want to, king, or just like a face card or something. And then once yeah. once Trox gets adjusted to that and sees he'll, he'll start blocking himself. Yeah, then, then he can, can get the meaties in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. but King when Trox is knocked down is one of my favorites. I played the matchup a little bit. Uh, just kind of get it to get a feel for it cuz I didn't think it was as bad as people were were saying it was. Yeah. Uh, but I wonder what we'll see from Jenga Jam cuz I think he pretty much he probably plays like 15 of the 20. Yeah, that's the thing. Like Jenga Jam, I think he truly deserves the title of like best player that nobody talks about. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's just been he's just been so consistent and so like um, so solid for so long that everyone's just like, oh yeah, oh you know, there's like when you when you name off like the great Yomi players, you're like you know you you, you mention a whole bunch of people as like obvious choices, and then you just sort of like. Oh, Okay, and uh, you know, you don't even say Jenga Jam because it's obvious. Like, he's just in the group. You just assume someone has already said his name. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's he, like, he's just terrifying to face, especially uh, if you're a player who who doesn't have, like, deep experience against the whole roster because he will just switch into... Yeah, he plays something so he, many characters. he would prefer to play. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think part of it that he, I guess, gets overlooked is he's not as... Let's see. He's not a. He's not as big on the forums. He's That's not true. posting a lot. Like a lot of. Yeah, he lets other... his, he lets his uh, his play do the talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the detriment of his popularity, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I would rank him as one of the as one of the best, or definitely yeah, one of the better yeah, players. Yeah. Uh, but oh, it looks like the room is up. I... There we go. Sweet. Jump oh, in well, the, here. The room. The room opens up and there's immediately 10 people in the spectator like <laughs> this is definitely this is definitely i mean like if you're going to watch any match live you're going to watch this match like uh yeah international so, yomi league is just a fantastic tournament I, it's been going on for so long it's kind of shocking how soon it's going to be over so like this is the fourth last match that's going to be played it's going to be this finals or this semifinals. Uh, two division um, uh, realm finals and then the uh, the Yomi Bowl. So like we're almost there. It's it's nuts. Wow. Um, we'll talk a little bit about at the end of the match. We'll we'll talk a little bit about what uh, what matches we're gonna see and maybe do some some talking about predictions or something. Okay. Uh, that's yeah. It's gonna be some tough games. Uh, I'm t <laughs> I'm already at a I'm at the breaking point as it is for Yomi turn and play. I'm gonna need a break here. Uh, I can't just keep playing tournament after tournament like apparently some people can. <laughs> I feel like I'm, in, I'm participating in some sort of sport and the season was supposed to end like two months ago. But yeah, just yeah. Kept it going. <laughs> like, I'm playing hurt. <laughs> yeah. Coach, I need some time off. <laughs> yeah, I, I entered way too many tournaments that I'm <laughs> able to handle. And, and yeah. But some some of these guys, they they just plug along. It doesn't affect them. Oh, for sure. It yeah. seems. 
I, I much prefer, like, I, I realized when I started off, I liked playing in the, the one-day tournaments a lot. Okay. Uh, but I've really shifted into preferring the kind of once-a-week uh, league-style uh, format. Like, Yeah, those are definitely easier to fit into a schedule. Yeah, exactly. You know, you've got to play, basically play one match a week, <laughs> then you're yeah. done for the week, like, you can relax. <laughs> I, think at, I think at one point, though, I was playing three matches a week, just the way the tournaments were yeah. overlapping. Yeah. Uh, so it did. F I haven't been able to play in a single day tournament in a long time. Those those never fit my my schedule. <laughs> yeah, I definitely uh, think you're 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 definitely owed a break. Like I only participate in basically one league at a time. That's probably uh, a good yeah, idea. If you've been if you've been piling them on, <laughs> you got like <laughs> nine yeah, matches, three I'm, weeks. Like <laughs> yeah, I was in I was in league uh, feature film festival was it? summer smash and top panda, and I think there was a small. Oh, and the, the team tournament. Right. There was right. there was a lot of overlap. That's right. There, where it, it kind of it's like I need a break, and then school started. So yeah, <laughs> all that precious free time. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> went away. Luckily, uh, my uh, my my plans for the league didn't go as well though. So luckily, I didn't make it into the finals. Yeah, so that, I was that's what I'm saying. Like I I can I can provide you some uh, some coaching advice, which is just don't go deep in any of the tournaments you enter. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's easy. Simple, you know. Yeah, eight, eight just, ninety nine an hour. You can, you can. I'm cheap in terms of coaching. Like, <laughs> it's really easy. You're just gonna I'm taste for the secrets. tournament, and you're out. Yeah. <laughs> I like just, it though. Just fold like a cheap table. <laughs> that's a, that's some good strats to always remain fresh for the next one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You enter three tournaments, then you decide the one you want to do well in, and you just yeah. you just like give somebody free wins, like. You give it your all in that yeah. one. <laughs> you sandbag so hard in two of them. <laughs> and then it's also like valuation trap. Like they're like, wow, is wow, is, is clan actually bad? And then you just ruin them. Like you just roll through <laughs> them because they all expect like he played mono block range against me and uh, things. So I just threw oh, it. Was... <laughs> that's, that's, that, I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue this this strategy here. <laughs> okay, I'll edit this part out of the video so that the uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. They'll, they, they'll never know which one's coming. I'll enter two at one time. <laughs> yeah, right. And they won't know which one I'm gonna toss. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. Yeah. So, so, so Tro uh, Jenga Jam starting Troc against the uh, uh, the possible or the the likely Zane and uh, Raz correctly getting the the counter pick of uh, of uh, BBB versus Troc. So we'll see how this goes. I'm surprised that he goes BBB. I know for a while he was doing just doing a mix up of Zane Geiger out of mm -hmm. Raziak, but now he's switched to BBB being his preferred choice. I think he just Subtract. likes the character much more uh, than than Geiger. Uh, he's he like I've played him a couple of times uh, just in in quick match <laughs> versus mm -hmm. his BBB. It's no joke, man. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> he uh, he nearly perfected me uh, when I uh, this was after I decided on Onimaru and just switched to Onimaru, and he he still nearly got the perfect. Oh Ooh, yeah, there's that good good starting duff there gonna lead into some damage hopefully even if it doesn't it's still trouble for truck yeah that's true you definitely need to hit with those kings that's one less even if so so every king that gets put into the discard makes uh uh bbb's blocks in neutral when when truck escapes just that much safer because there's just so few things that are going to convert into good damage in that situation Ooh. nice goes for the gutsy first king i mean not so gutsy, because I mean he's well. I guess it's, yeah. Oh, if, yeah. If he pushes, look at the range, because what's he? He can't do damage. He's just filling them out at this point. I think. True. Uh, luckily, he had a range move. Sometimes BBB gets to range, and yeah, all he, he do is block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really awkward. <laughs> really, really awkward. It's like my moves deal five damage. How can I have a bad hand? They all they're all <laughs> supposed to just deal five damage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think that was a a, a nice place to put a king. Um, I think the it's so nice as a grappler if you can block a dodge like an early dodge out of uh, BBB. Oh, okay. Stands up with a queen. Let's hope Troc has a hand that he could actually maintain staying in close. He's already lost a king and a queen. Yeah. So if he just gets put back to if he just gets put right back to range, that was just going to be a wasted queen. Mm-hmm. So luckily he can, I mean, if he has a face card in hand, then he's got a turn where he doesn't have to uh, 
uh, worry too much unless it's a king that gets snagged with a with a with a six. Yeah. Um, BBB does not have a five attack. Oh, so. Right back to range. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one comforting thing. Every so, like you were saying, every king that Troc loses is a huge blow to him. Every six for BBB that doesn't connect is a huge blow for him because it's his only normal that beats king. Yeah. Notably, um, unlike Rook, um, I guess I don't know what the valuation on it is. I think probably you use as BBB use his. Uh, uh, his knockdown jack, the 2.4 speed knockdown jack. You probably use that in neutral really consistently. Um, it gets beaten by every face card, but it still defends against king. Nice throw here again. Just just going in. Getting rid of those precious, uh, or possibly precious, troc blocks. Yeah. So uh, so the thing is, so okay, my, my idea of how this matchup sh probably should be played out is... Jenga Jam needs to attach one more block. Then he can actually put himself in a position where he, he has to bide his time where he gets out of range, whether by luck, like by blocking his way out or by attacking his way out. And then he just has to threaten dodge into uh, Beast Unleashed or raw Beast Unleashed. Uh, and then he has to hope that uh, BBB doesn't have any jokers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then he's got to find a way to do 35 other damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, 35 is not too bad. Like, you know, a yeah. couple of queens, I mean, a couple of jacks, a king or two. Uh, they, you can you can do that. But yeah, the rest of that damage, like, it's almost certainly Beast Unleashed has to be hit for uh, for Troc to make this uh, a win. There you go. Looks like, I'm guess, it looks like Jenga, Jam's doesn't ha Jenga Jam doesn't have face cards. I think he's, he's spent them all with a miss and getting out of range. Oh, I I don't know how I feel about War Stomp in this situation. I guess I guess maybe that just, hand, I, like yeah. I, I kind of like it more as cycling. Um, yeah, maybe know. it just confirms my suspicion that he just doesn't have any way to get out of range or get out of range safely mm -hmm. with either. I, I feel like a wake up normal is really good here for uh, for BBB. It's either a, a normal attack or a block. Yep. Strong, strong mix-up always, I guess. Yeah. At range, or safe mix-up at least, at the very least. Yeah. It's like there's so little risk. Well, that's kind of like this is the whole the whole point of BBB's range is just there's so little you can do. Like you're just trying not to lose while he's in range. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there yeah. comes the block. The block correctly gets around one of those awkward hand or awkward cards that he needs to play around. I think that was a, it was a nice option select there uh, from Jenga Jam. The Jack uh, kind of trades with, or at least it gets out of range if uh, if Raz wakes up with a queen of his own at 2.2 speed, and okay. um, and it beats every normal attack and also gets him out that way. So uh, unfortunately, now the vicious the cycle the stick on that combat win. Now the vicious cycle really begins here because Raziak has been able to build up a hand, so he's got the fastest attack in the matchup in hand, still at 12 cards in hand. So even if Jenga Jam manages to get out of range, he has to deal with a normal poke slash uh, AA mix-up. Yeah. Which is yeah, there's definitely very enough, uncomfortable to play. Yeah, there's definitely enough cards in, uh, in BBB's hand that we're going to see... Uh, either immediate power up, nicely gold bursts out. Definitely a tool that you need to spend at range to get out. Very little reason uh, for most characters to uh, blue burst versus uh, BBB. There's really, really like um, kind of odd outlier scenarios where you get hit by you know headbutt into big combo damage, but but typically he's going to deal. In the in the area of you know ten to twenty damage per per combat win, mm -hmm. and that's yeah against grapplers. Yeah, it's usually on the lower end, at least versus Troc and Rook. It's on the lower end when and neutral. Yeah, because it's harder to hit with Robo Headbutt versus them because usually the only throw they're going to be playing is King. Yeah, <laughs> which. Happily, uh, at least sort of evenly trades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although at Raz this... is working on an awful, awful perfect right now. Ooh, Ooh, there you go. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> so yeah, he had. He, I mean, he had the strong mix-up. He was either playing, I guess, for AA or King here. 
Yeah, I'm not to sure get that back that to range. Hit anything really? Yeah. I feel like it was it was either gonna eat uh, eat that king, <laughs> or it was gonna eat like a queen or uh, or eagle totem. I guess I'm I'm guessing. I mean, Raziak was obviously expecting the dodge or the block here. Yeah. To be AA, so I'm I'm not surprised at his play, but Jenga Jam calls it out. Yep. Gets around it. Ooh. Nice. ooh. That's what you want to beat sixes with. Just cash in the damage. And notably, uh, Jenga Jam, working with an 11-card hand, um, has been able to get up into into the stratosphere for Troc hands. Like, <laughs> because of the way his blocks work, the fact that they you know they don't return to hand, it's usually... He's, he's much slower to build um, than most characters in the cast. So he's going to be able to threaten Eagle Totem basically forever. And it's really and up to Raziak to uh, to beat it with, with blocks or with uh, ace-ace of his own. And he's done the magic 35 damage he needed to do to yeah, set that's up right. <laughs> at least le unleashed. He's in the danger zone now. <laughs> <laughs> Just needs one more target range to get that next block yeah. attached. Oh, whoa. Nice king. Kings for days. Good stuff. He's got to play him. He's got the hmm. threat of Eagle Totem here to, to make those throws a little bit more effective. I wonder what that block was attempting to beat. I think that was definitely going around Eagle Totem. Because he's got the ace-ace, so if he was thinking Eagle Totem, he could have played... I don't know. Well, on the other hand, he may not want to sling ace-ace quite yet, because well, if he does get it. blocked, uh, Troc remains you know, in close. He doesn't go to range, and he has well, you that sling second it, block attached, right? You just play it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a lot of cards. I think he could. He, maybe he can't power up for it again or something, and then he's yeah, playing cautious because depends of how it. awkward that that. Th maybe he has one of every suit. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh man! No, no. I think this is. Uh, I. He's just going for. He's just going for the scare for days with Ace Ace, but never play it. And Jagged Jam will not be intimidated. Yeah, he's he's too. He, I think he's he's underestimating the amount, or he's. Uh, yeah, he's underestimating the amount that Jenga Jam does not want to go to range. Yeah. <laughs> this man does not want to get put put back into the corner. <laughs> he wants yeah. to stay, stay up He'll close the, and hug. He'll eat the 21, just don't send him to range. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. With with nine cards still in hand, uh, and he's continuously been powering up for single ace. We've got two in the discard now. So it, it is still a constant threat. Oh! Yeah, oh. We see the dodge... This is probably backed up by Joker. Maybe he was just waiting for the Joker to appear in his hand. Oh, he doesn't even have... Okay, yeah. so it would have been kill either way, but he's got... A I, knock think, down. I think he. Pr I think the, the throw there was just to get knocked down and get around the possibility. Yeah, I think, I think that's perfectly fine to play around Joker there. No power-up from Razak. He's got... St what, do you think, what do you think the chances are he's got stealth ace-ace here? <laughs> I mean, we're we're more than halfway through the deck, or we're we're exactly halfway through the deck. It's pretty fair that he could have them. Here it comes um, second piston hurricane second <laughs> coming at you. Here comes the second dodge. Oh, oh okay, <laughs> the dodge is correct. So we're we're operating at fifty percent accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty it's, good. It's, that's that's yeah, not too bad when there's four options. I guess I <laughs> I was more specific though with my call out. True, true. You got you got to say a rank. <laughs> okay yeah fair enough oh, fair it doesn't enough. count <laughs> fair enough. yeah i was doubling my bet on black rather than betting on like <laughs> yeah okay so now it's pretty likely that he has uh two piston hurricanes we could see the throw come out here he's going to continue the scare or is he going to play it oh no nope. i wonder what that this is just dodges for days and they both have the same amount of dodges so yeah it's true uh that is i think the fourth dodge played by raz Let me just confirm that no, like third three. dodge played, and, uh, and four fourth from dodge Jenga. played. But yeah, so we're getting down into the like basically four dodges left on either side. Oh, hmm. Gets around it. Uh, this is fine. He's still just going to eat maximum twenty-one damage here. He's not going to go. I don't range. even think you'd play that though, because you you got to keep it to scare when you're only at ten. Mm, I don't know. I mean, here he just needs a jack or a queen to really. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. 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 Oh, here we go. <laughs> that's a lot of <laughs> reloading. He's oh, let's see. Yeah, he needs wow. both. Yeah. 
Okay, so he's going to go to uh, Ace Ace and two mystery cards in hand. Mystery. Fox so mysterious. <laughs> what, what, what could it be? Yeah. So do we see... Uh, do we see... I think it's, pr it's fair odds that we might see a normal come out from Raziak here to try to go for range. If he thinks that Jenga Jam will play uh, around the possibility of Piston Hurricane this turn. Uh, because he can't dodge out of it. He can only prevent it with a block. Oh, nice! All That's the just dodges. way more dodges in his hand than, than Jenga Jam expects. Puts him back on the ground. Two cards, or oh, three cards in hand after the draw. Yeah, but notably, l very likely does not have face cards. Um, although, if you do have face cards in hand, like if you have a slow jack, or if you have a jack or a queen in hand, or a king, you probably play the ace-ace first because it's known. It's going to be a gold burst right here. I'm calling it. <laughs> you, I'm going for another. You're calling it? Okay. <laughs> Jenga Jam is gold bursting right I think, here. I think Raz is going to dodge one more turn. <laughs> He's going to dodge that gold burst. <laughs> So we get we should get some money here if we get yeah, a gold exactly. right. <laughs> Panda coins. <laughs> see what we see. Dang. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. Stuff's the wake up jack. He's possibly got the other two, but I don't think no, you I play think him here. He's got some in discard, right? Or oh no no no. He's got he's, he's got them all out of discard. So he yeah, he's definitely doing the math here. So you'll probably get the, a third one. Yep. Yeah. And now he's got deaths. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just get both. Why not? You're just going to be playing ace, ace, or or uh, throw, I guess, in this. Oh, this no, position. you don't play the throw. You just normal poker. Normal poke are. Uh, yeah, that's true. Or on the other hand, you ace, don't. Ace. I think you'd rather you'd rather throw a block than get a uh, a normal attack dodged in this position. Because he still only needs, you know, one correct card <laughs> to, to close yeah. this out if you don't have Joker, uh, if Razik doesn't have a Joker in hand. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, he got greedy. Gets him with the greedy, greedy <laughs> normal yep. joke. He went for the scare play, Good which, he's been, which he's been doing all... <laughs> most of the game he was going for those scare plays <laughs> Raziak feeling a little uncomfortable with the nice draws but I mean he's more than halfway through his deck I think that was what the third king? that was the fourth king, fourth king? got yeah, all four yeah it's not unreasonable to draw he's gonna stick it out Okay. so Jenny Jan goes up one this is a first of four so definitely not over yet nowhere close yep uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if you can be talking about. Uh, like yeah, BBB's got the play against you know. <laughs> BBB's yeah. well he's got the most pol polarized matchup <laughs> spread. Yeah, I mean he either loses to you or he crushes you. Yeah. I'm not sure about these uh, aggressive king plays in neutral. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, it's fine. He's probably playing them because he has more in hand. Let's hope so. Yeah. Uh, I mean, king first play from Trock. Good... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, so I was just saying, king first play from Trock is, is pretty, was like a 50% chance of that being a thing. Yeah, it's either king or queen. <laughs> like. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, an actual throw from Trock. You don't see those. Yeah. Often. So, butt's hand. Butt's hand confirmed, I think. Maybe he didn't have much. I was just expecting the. the we block, could see. I, guess. Uh, I feel like we might see Jenga Jam stick out, a, stick out a limb here to catch the other king. Let's see it. What's behind <laughs> yeah. door number one? <laughs> Range door number one! <laughs> Let's hope it's Make not it a happen. Zonk. <laughs> yeah, he didn't play queen. Raziak didn't play queen once last game. Either yeah. he didn't get it, or he's not feeling it. Pretty, he didn't want. He, yeah, pretty possible. He didn't want Beast didn't Unleashed to be a thing. Maybe. Oh, and here it is. There he is. Maybe so he trades, just didn't get it. So this is a fine trade. You're this losing range, but you mean you get some damage on Troc. He's got 95 health. You got to chew through. So 13 is a good start. It's a lot of chewing. Yeah, you don't take any damage off of that. So you just what's one less Jack gone. 
I'm surprised actually that we saw the jack, um, considering the the normal throw coming out early. And he's got he he must have been expecting a a blocker. He just drew it. There we go. Oh. oh, seven. Yeah. I mean the Cleanly. the two point two side. He must have been expecting a jack, or he was just afraid of the jack as a possibility. So he didn't go with the yeah. I'll grab your normal ten damage. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little too odd. I mean, like we said, right? You only really need to deal thirty-five damage with your face cards. <laughs> you need to deal forty-five with, yeah. with your aces. Or he did. Oh, whoa, whoa! What's going on here with these normal throws? Yeah. So he's. So this is. Uh, this is Jenga saying, okay. Um, you know, I I did that normal throw early, so. Uh, this gives me, or at least it gave me the impression that he probably didn't have much in hand, so he's, he'd rather go to range, uh, you know, go to range off of, a, of, off of a beaten throw and possibly, you know, maybe get some mileage out of a really low quality hand uh, card in his hand if he if he uh, if Raziak chooses to block. Um, but now I think it was more of a valuation trap, or or he was playing to his hand where he's got all these face cards in hand, so he's fine going to range, you know, once or. Uh, briefly at least um, so that he can now catch him with some aggressive stuff and that that other throw was again him going okay well you know I've got more jacks and I've, more, I've got more attacks that keep me out of range my jacks and queens than I do throws so please block <laughs> please block this throw <laughs> oh maybe maybe he just doesn't have yeah he might just have anything. a butt's, butt's hand <laughs> like top deck two jacks and now he's terrified it's just so it's so risky to try a normal throw bbb yeah uh, so yeah. much risk you definitely want to do it er more in the early game than in the late game though so if you're going to throw with with a normal do it yeah. early you can't you can't do it at range and later on you're just it's not gonna. Happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's lost a four and a five. I wanted to see those beating out his. Those are the counter counter king. <laughs> yeah, folks. that's right. <laughs> you don't see it happening, but I oh, want to okay. see it. Trades another jack for a queen. Good, oh. good trades for Raz. And, Even yep, life. he takes the lead. Yeah, that's right. Because life that. lead, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 12 cards in hand, definitely a better position than uh, Jenga Jam right here. Yeah, it's those, those crazy throws. Yeah. He's got, he's got to block those ranged pokes, if anything. I don't know. Do we see it come out? Is it going to be another normal throw? Let's see what we got here. Ooh! Ooh no, nice. That's really, really good uh, for, for Jenga. I wonder what uh, Raziak was expecting, because... Using the single ace side isn't great versus Trock because the other side puts so much pressure on him. Uh, I think he was playing around King. Hmm. Um, the which I, again I don't think this is bad. Uh, it's definitely a better tool against Rook uh, in neutral than it is against yeah. Trock because again it's it's beaten by fast Queen like it's beaten by Queen. It's uh, but that's really the only thing it's beaten by right. It stuffs Jack um, even though three have been played. Yeah, I wasn't. I don't think Jack was coming out. Oh, there you go. Ooh. That's a big Razzie's win. Razzie's turn to to get a nice <laughs> uh, nice block in. Yeah, <laughs> he'll probably Jenga get Jam his... kicking himself now that he didn't normal throw that turn. <laughs> yeah, if he'll get his ace back. Look at those. It's got throws always go right to the discard. Those oh, yeah, are just no power point. up. Yeah, there's no point. You don't throw his BBB reverses. <laughs> you only need one block in hand, and that's the only thing you're going to use those for until the late yeah. game. And even then, it's so risky because you're you're, I think, you're usually playing a grappler who's who's so terrified of going to range they're just going to stick out limbs no matter what they are. You think he'll continue his? I think Jenga Jam's going to play scared, play like a scared of Ace Ace players. You think that's the Ace Ace? Oh nope. Yep. yep. He's that's continuing. So he does have continuing the, the pressure. Yeah. So he so Jenga Jam has he has completed stage one. Uh, he's <laughs> nearly he's nearly dealt thirty five damage. Right. He only needs to deal nine more. So if he's got a queen, he's just got to find a queen at some point in neutral in order to make the beast unleashed real. He's got he's got the hand for it definitely. He's got ten cards in hand. He's got both attached blocks. Do we see a king, king throw. throw? I haven't got a prediction yet, right? But 
Oh right, yeah, but this is de- this is the king throw. I'm calling it <laughs> double bets. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> oh, I'm out. I'm out of money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We've got to wait. <laughs> Hold on, let me make a quick call. Yeah, get my my parents on the phone. See if I can get some cash. <laughs> my luck's gonna turn around. I swear. I <laughs> yeah. Like I just need. <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna double I'm gonna double I'm gonna let it ride. This is definitely the king throw. This is definitely- <laughs> We're letting it ride. I think we probably see Queen. All right, got your know, place point, bets. Yeah. <laughs> at this point, I feel. Yeah, I don't know. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, Raz playing a much much heavier dodge range, um, just because he can pretty well, much. It's that, and also Troc really wants to get out. And he can do that by either blocking uh, your block or, more likely, playing a queen to get out. Um, so so dodge is just, you know, I don't feel like making a really difficult decision this turn, so I'm going to dodge. Yeah. I'm still uh, not sure about these war stomps at range. Like, maybe, he's got, maybe he's just in a bad hand situation again, or he just likes the stomp. It's just, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you have other throws in hand, you're fine, but... Throws? Or uh, other dodges in hand, sorry, as as Troc. Because yeah. you need like you need to be able to threaten dodge into Beast Unleashed. Um, yeah, no doubt about it. But I guess you only have to... like. Aww. Okay, good good exchange for... Uh, Queen is pretty Raza. great right now versus Troc, because yeah. he doesn't get to attach or keep the card. So... 13 damage, and he gets... Nothing. He stays even on cards. Yeah. <laughs> winning... Hashtag winning combat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think, oh, I think honestly, Razia can probably slam. just play queens. Queens for days, and then just win? Well, yeah, I mean, until Jenga Jam draws a card that can play around it, or uses up a dodge that... Oh! Ugly, must ugly just, he, combat loss here. He must have just drawn that dodge. That was the, the old fast slam. <laughs> or, he'd, or, or he had already made up his mind that yeah. he was playing dodge that turn yeah. and just slams it down Because the, I mean I could read the fast slam as I'm just going to play that again Ooh, yeah. puts the overdrive on him I love these new icons by the way so yeah cool. I think I was playing against Jenga Jammed when I discovered them, I don't know how long they've been around for but... <laughs> they're fairly recent, I think just last week okay you see the... oh, oh man. no oh <laughs> Oh, so ugly. And, like, the problem is every time uh, either of these characters dodges, but especially in this situation where BBB dodges, the next time he dodges, it's so unlikely, right? Like, because he's got so few of them. He's yeah. Five played already. There's only three left in the deck. What are the odds that this is another one? <laughs> it seems low. <laughs> it but... seems low, but then, you know, he's only got to have to draw one, and every time he draws one, it's like, well, the odds of him thinking that I've got to dodge... <laughs> Oh, and there's oh, another God. one. <laughs> no. Oh, rip. Yeah, rip. that's why I don't like playing the odds, because every time I've done it, I get blown up. And now he's in death range to a queen. Yep. And uh, he's got, like, that was both jokers played. Uh, the only way he can respond to this, yeah, is by powering up for... Uh, <laughs> he's powering up for, for two aces. Probably indicates he doesn't have a queen in hand. Ugh, ugly. Ugly situation the, to be in. Playing the odds is a rough game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's the thing, right? If you expect your uh, your opponent to play the odds, then you should definitely always windmill slam the card that beats the thing that <laughs> the odds yeah. predict, right? It's, it's just guaranteed damage. And, uh, just, just dodge again. If you had a dodge, play it again. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely dodge here if you can. <laughs> just no just reason keep on dodging. To. And you win. Just backdash forever. Infinity the ninth backdash. dodge would be the win. They'll never <laughs> expect it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. and he gets out at a high cost, though. Yep. So that means he doesn't have any queens. Yeah. Or... Which is... Or... Hear me out. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's like, or he has lots of queens and a dodge and enough to power up for uh, oh, <laughs> Beast <laughs> Unleashed again. It's not lethal though, and no he hasn't used the Joker yet. 
So it's still tough. He's going to have to do some fancy footwork, some truck work. Yeah. Oh, and he uses a dodge for that. Okay. Probably fine. Again, you only need one. Now he's playing the odds. He's got three of his own dodges in discard. So does Raziak think that uh, if he has one, he's going to slam it? I think, I think here you just play around getting Raw Beast Unleashed. Even if you don't have the Joker. Just, you know, face down with confidence. Yeah. You might get around it anyway. Ooh. Yeah, so Raz agrees with me. And this is the face down that's so hard to make the call on when playing yeah. a grappler. Oh, oh he makes, makes the, the call. call. Nice. Very nice. That would have been heartbreaking to see nothing come up. Like, yeah. Just like some random. Anything <laughs> but a joker, yeah. Yeah, so immediate power up for more aces. Um, notably... This... Oh, okay, no, sorry. He's only used one joker. Um, he is now basically halfway through the deck, so again... Oh, my goodness. He's got a lot of dodges, or he just loves that ability. <laughs> no, I mean, in, in this situation, it's very, very good. It's it's going to force him into the 50-50 uh, much more thoroughly than... You know, I mean, the 50-50 is the same if he's standing or not, right? I guess I mean, that's true. You just have dodge. the possibility of him dodging. Like, you remove the possibility of him dodging as well. Oh, I'd love it if he dodged. That's the... Uh, yeah, well, if you play Beast Unleashed, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think he'd be, he'd be playing Ace-Ace here. Oh, oh. oh! The rudest combat win, and that's Rip. He's definitely got damage to back that up. He's definitely got Aces, yeah. Okay, so, one game apiece. Do you think we'll see a switch to Grave? I know that's a common character for, for Jing and Jim. I mean, you said earlier that that was the matchup they had played. Uh, they played Zane, Zane Grave. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Notably, he's, yeah, I think this is the first time in tournament, yeah, this is the first time in tournament that, since I've been recording, that Raziek has played uh, BBB versus Jenga Jam. Okay. So that didn't go too bad for Jenga Jam. He split, uh, he split the, the two games here. Yeah. On the, on the, the intro counter pick. Yeah. Definitely nothing to be, uh, to feel bad about. Um... I wonder... I mean, and, and the thing is, in that last game, uh, I can't remember who I was talking to about it, but uh, when I was casting your match against the Lux, uh, when you were playing Manelker, uh -huh. um, if you think about it, they were both in lethal range, really. Like, both of them were basically, you know, uh, BBB was one combat away from victory, and Jenga Jam, or uh, Troc, was two combats away from victory. So as long as if you think no about joker, it like that, yeah. it's very, very close, right? Like, yeah. Even though... Uh, yeah, as long as Joker a wasn't a thing. 56 health lead. <laughs> like, yeah. It doesn't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, just as long. Yeah, but I mean, you still have to be worried about if He's, he's going to be facing down, and then you still got to rip your hair out, yeah. figuring out whether that's a real Joker or not. Absolutely. No, definitely, definitely an awkward situation. Okay, so we do see Grave come out. This uh, Grave having a lot of uh, good options against... BBB, especially in neutral. Um, at range, he's kind of stuck in a lot of ways that a lot of the other members of the cast are. Um, he's got single ace, which is a any, good... Yeah, any button. character that has a single ace that's speed 1.0 kind of yeah. gives BBB a headache. But yeah. that's like his best tool, because Queen, he needs to save for late game to beat ace ace. Oh, there you go. True. Nice. Getting right into it. <laughs> there we go. So, so finally, finally, he's found a character that he can threaten throws off. He can <laughs> nice and just converts for damage. Good stuff. I wonder. Let's see if he's he's got to have something to protect against ranges here. You think we'll see a jack out of him? Yeah, or jack did he is not a draw? Beautiful tool. Jack is amazing versus BBB. He basically, just put them on the table. <laughs> <laughs> have Jack play Jack. Yeah, yeah. Especially versus BBB, the card that says you can't take me to range and. You get no cards. Yep. Yeah, the only thing that's going to beat it is a, a dodge in uh, in neutral, which is ugly. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, oh. So probably going to put a a dodge, a low normal on the table, so he has the dodge attack mix up. High six. I mean, the six normal from Raziak. 
It's interesting um, either. He's got no no other normals, probably, I would guess. Or... Well, the thing is, uh, what's he going to play? Like, anything that he plays, even if he plays a 2 attack, it's going to lose to the exact same stuff that the 6 attack loses to. Um, yeah, I mean, ja uh, Grave doesn't always have 2 attack, though. Well, but yeah, uh, but King, Jack, single ace, queen, like... It's not... I don't think it's that huge a difference. And, like, the risk of playing... Ooh, good... Uh, good throw there. Raziak's been putting the king throw to work at range, yeah. and interestingly enough, he always has one in hand <laughs> for the early game. Yeah. He's been common. Been good with that with that draws. Yeah. The common complaint <laughs> against BBB is I can't seem to get my kings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, if you if you're missing a tool, um, and depending on match like certain matchups, you really want either a king really badly or a queen really badly. Okay, wake up queen. Gets out of range. Takes Classic. no damage for it. It's a good trade. He may That's be able to get those queens back too, um, even if it? he if he blocks his way into range. If he that would plays be tricky. That, sorry. It would be tricky. It would definitely be would tricky be, to yeah. get a queen back. But, but you can BBB. still put them. You can still put them in the fifty fifty where you're playing. You you put a, a, a an attack and a dodge card on the table, and that way you you know you kind of hedge around both the king and the queen. Mm -hmm. Nice throw here. Oh, man. Yep. He's just slamming those aces down for that throw damage. Yeah, no reason to play for uh, two Power of Storms in this matchup, I think. Let's see, hopefully he doesn't get put back to range again, because that was the same sequence of events that <laughs> started it. Yeah. yeah Fortunately for him, he didn't indicate... take any damage. I guess he took eight while at range. Yeah, it's not too bad. The block could indicate that he's not... He doesn't have a great hand to be able to contest uh, being put back in. Ooh. Nice. Blocks out a dodge in neutral. That's great. Yep, we could have had the same scenario. They're just going to keep like repeating that pattern to the game ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he, he missed this opportunity. <laughs> yeah, Raz, Raz is definitely going to have to get more mileage out of his range uh, at times than he did in the first one. Ooh, nice. Gets Gets hit with a queen. Yeah, it could be a struggle to get Grave to range, and it could be a struggle to keep him there, yeah, I've absolutely. found. Absolutely. Uh, his blocks are very, very strong at range. He has enough yeah. dodges to be able to threaten, you know, getting around uh, any attacks you play. Yeah, um, a lot of the times, it, I've found, when you take Grave to range, and even if you stay, keep him there and do, like, decent damage to him, you come, he gets out... He immediately powers up for TPOS. Oh yeah, for and, sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then you're. I mean, you're scared. Yeah, like we like we discussed earlier. Oh, okay. Lands lands a dodge in neutral. Which uh, probably. I wonder what this will lead into. Queen, queen pump pump. Ooh. There okay, we go. Just deals ten. He doesn't have great dodge follow ups out of in neutral. True. Well, I mean, unless he, unless he spends the queen, that's still fifteen damage. It's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, 15 for 3. I mean, it could close out games, but it's it's not like you're happy Yeah. About On the other it. hand, I mean, you're not... BBB is not a character that needs, you know, huge amounts of cards in hand, um, assuming he can get his way to range. Um, like, if it's not the late game, if he doesn't need to have ace-ace in hand in order to threaten stuff that, you know, to stuff uh, fast stuff all the time... It's not a bad idea to go low. You can't really be punished super hard for it. And ace ace for BBB is looking pretty solid right now with two queens and discard. Mm -hmm. I think it would probably be a mistake to play it here, though. Yeah. Yeah. Better I'm not know. saying he, I'm not saying he has it. But no, for sure. For it's, sure. It's its use is is getting better. Because one of my favorite plays is Grave. I guess this is kind of spoils it, but <laughs> when tech, you get, secret tech alert. Don't worry, I'll I mean, get all it's, this it's, out. It's not going online. It's, oh, there we go. Uh, it's nothing major. It's just it's just funny when it happens. It's Ooh. like you power up for TPLS when they have uh, their ace ace, and then you just play queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bet you didn't know about juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good, uh, good Joker there. Unfortunately, he's gonna really, really want Joker in hand right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even even single ace is gonna be doing work here. Yeah, if he doesn't, if he doesn't have TPS, I mean, it's just so good to stick on throws. 
combat reveals. Okay, good overdrive here. He's going to make Jenga uh, Jam think about... Oh, nice, nice response. So the so the typical the typical mix up here. Okay, so <laughs> he, d he has so he, he doesn't have okay he doesn't have Jack, which kind of blows up his mix. I guess he could do normal. Yeah. Still, what he really wants to have is a seven, because <laughs> the, the the mix up is kind of like raw king dodge into king, but the other other mix up <laughs> the other other white meat is uh, headbutt into two pump fully pumped queens for Geiger yeah. levels of damage. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good. I play a different mix-up, actually. I go for Jack or King. If they don't, as, long, as long as they don't have a knockdown attack, I'll play Jack or King. True. Is what I like to In this situation, roll with. unfortunately, that would lose really, really hard to True Power of Storm. <laughs> you just gotta do it. You gotta you face gotta, the fear. Yeah. <laughs> gotta make the call. Let's Rasp see what goes down. Okay. Right, yep. Jenga Jam playing the the uh, playing the option that Raz has to play kind of a risky option to beat. Yeah, because if he plays his king to get him to range, he no longer has a king at range. Yeah. So it's a pretty strong play from really good pick there, Jenga. And that was his only—he only had one dodge, uh, so he wouldn't have been too great at range at dealing, even dealing with his aces, mm -hmm. with Graves' aces. Yeah, great, great play there by uh, by Jenga Jam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here comes the jack. It's that sweet, sweet chip. <laughs> That's just a strong, like it's always a strong play versus BBB. It doesn't matter what phase of the game it is. Unless he's got, I guess, well now it maybe goes down a little bit in value. Well, I mean, he he did have single ace in hand. Um, so he did have an answer to that jack, but I think he was just really scared true. of getting uh, True Power of Storms and uh, unfortunately took took some damage for it. I think that was just that Jack was just to annoy him enough, like just to remind him, like, hey, I still have this move. I can still chip you out if you're not, you know, going to be aggressive. Um, if you're not going to be playing your dodges, if you're not going to be playing uh, your aces and stuff. Yeah, just putting the Jack out on the table. He's perfectly happy to lose that to 21 damage. Yep. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's been kind of the theme so far. Raziak has been trying to scare with Ace Ace, and Jenga Jam refuses to be scared yeah. by it. <laughs> the man or he's just fear. more scared of. <laughs> or he's just more scared of range, so he just plays the option that won't take him <laughs> yeah. to range. And he's yeah, he's sitting at a big life lead. So if he plays Ace Ace, Raziak's lost a good option, and he can't Still get it back. Oh, and, and there yeah, it is. Exactly. So exactly, exactly what we're, what you're saying is. You know, this is this is you know twenty one damage, but this is he's perfectly happy to take this. Ooh, I'm not sure I'd pump there, but uh, depends. I mean, he had a bunch of low normals kind of in a sequence. I think we probably see immediate power up again. Oh yeah, so yeah, queens are not going to be useful at this point. He just needs he needs to hit him twice more with uh, piston hurricane to put him out of the game. Notably, uh, he's not going to dodge into that move, so jokers are not going to be incredibly useful for Jenga Jam. Oh man, I'm I'm betting Jenga Jam's wishing he had some queens in hand at this point. <laughs> How many has he spent right now? Two. He spent two. Okay. So two two more would could kill him. Yeah. But seems unlikely. Very playing unlikely. the odds, but it's <laughs> exactly. If we we talked about playing the odds, right? <laughs> it's uh, it got uh, got Jenga Jam killed last game. Let's see if he can yes. kill Raziak with it. <laughs> He's got both queens in hand somehow. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was, you're not going to dodge. <laughs> you're not going to dodge this turn. Please, sir. <laughs> he's going, he's going for the, oh, he only got one. Oh. He only got one ace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see that with <laughs> saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> So like, he, he just didn't feel like playing the mix-up that turn. He's like, ah, I need a break. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know what he's going to do. I need, <laughs> I, need some, I need some rest and relaxation. <laughs> I need to put the pressure up a little bit higher. Yeah. Uh, he's just trying to... He's, I don't know what is going. He's got a queen. Here he comes. Oh, oh he's going to... He eats 21. It uh, looks like that's going to be the end of Raziak's Ace-Ace Terror, though. Because uh, he's only know. got five cards in hand. Face down. Interesting. Oh, he's at twenty-one though. Oh yeah. my goodness! That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. He's only got to tag him like. Oh man! Yeah, here we go. <laughs> he's 
And I think I think he's actually got confirmed uh, ace ace in hand because he did he did hit with three aces at one point. And there's only one in the discard now. So so ace ace hey, is think... actually a confirmed threat. He's got to keep. I'm telling you, you got to save those queens for the end game. Okay. Yeah. Dodge Jenga Jam playing the uh, the safest option. Only loses to the really, really risky option of throw, which it's itself intense, just man. gets devoured by uh, <laughs> by, by counter <laughs> by anything by buttons. <laughs> oh, yep. the dance continues. That's right. I always kick myself on those plays, like when it when you could have won yeah. a game, and every and every like... time, every time this uh, this this quote unquote tie continues, it's it could have been lethal for Jenga Jam. It, oh, there you go. and he'll grab it. Sinks it. Now does Raz Yeesh. have a Joker? Yeesh. No. Wow. Doesn't even, doesn't even choose to play around it. I was just having a look, quick look at the discard. Uh, okay, four throws played. I guess you don't really have you don't have the dominant option unless you manage to pick up a queen. So probably better to go for the possibility of the kill rather than get fancy. Whew, man, that was a. That one's got me sweating. That was a tense ending. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. That, Raz, Raz played that really well. He made that really, really close. Again, uh, lethal on both sides. Basically, one one successful combat away yeah. from, from both sides. You. If, yeah, if, if Grave doesn't have Queen, that, that BBB, Ace Ace, is it's frightening. Yeah. No doubt about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait, no. I'm the fastest. <laughs> Stop cheating, robot. <laughs> Okay, so we see the switch to Zane. Uh, probably we expected this matchup to happen. Raziek going right into the throws. Classic opening yeah. of the throw. <laughs> it drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> drives me crazy. Do we see six into seven? Oh, boy. Just for the knockdown. 21 damage right off the bat. <laughs> still has six cards in hand on uh, this next turn. So he's still got enough gas in the tank to uh, make something happen. Disgusting. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh man. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's. Oh boy. So do we see? Do we see a wake up button from uh, from Jenga? Yep. Yeah. Immediate queen. Uh, Ra I think Raziek being a big proponent of uh, make me stop. Yeah. So Best in the waters. I guess they just throw each other out. See what they do. Or maybe, maybe like, Grave just doesn't have anything. I think we it would have, might have been uh, just as likely that we see a uh, uh, a throw from Raziek in that position. Um, oh, I hate. Uh, <laughs> I want to yeah, punch Zane in the yeah, face when rude. he throws on on meaty turns. <laughs> punch him in the face. <laughs> oh, another yeah. throw. Goes for the Zane throw. can keep your hand size down better than a grappler Absolutely. because Get his offense never off ends. Flips the queen, so he's got good damage off of this. Into Jack. Ooh. Man, when doesn't he have Jack? <laughs> it's okay. He makes up for it by never drawing jokers. Always, <laughs> always milling jokers forever. I haven't seen it. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't tasted that you pleasure. You haven't experienced that joy yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> So Raziek's sitting on a nice lead here. He is only at five cards though, so it's possible that. He could, if he connect, oh sorry. No, he could get in a position where he's not, um, he's not able to continue applying pressure, and then it's basically Jenga Jam's turn to play. But yeah, yeah, oh, look at that. As connects with the normal, he's right back in it. Exactly. So he's going to draw up from one for the normal. He's going to get his shenanigans, which is going to give him another queen or ace here. Ooh. I, I think uh, even block was interesting, considering he's got two sixes in discard. Yeah. Although, Maybe Jam going for the counter counter yeah. uh, odds play. <laughs> he's, he's decided that math math didn't help him out in that trot game. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, now he distrusts it and uh, <laughs> Razzie yeah. possibly picking up on that. <laughs> How many combat is that? The third combat win for Zane or the fourth? Uh, he's only lost to Queen. No, I mean, uh, how many times has uh, Zane won combat? Is that the third? Uh, the third I win think for him. So third or. fourth? Yeah, I think third. Man, this yeah. guy just chunks through the uh, the life totals here. Yeah, that's uh, that's sixty three damage in three combats. He's got maybe two more to go, 
And Graves staring at 75. Ooh, oh, he's going to lose this one. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't win combat either. But two poke comes out. And he... Oh, it gets a bad flip, finally. Well, I, I don't know. He could have the like other a, ace in hand. He lost, a, he lost an ace already, and he didn't combo into it. Oh, okay. Oh, but he still gets... 17 which is enough to yeah, he doesn't he doesn't really need to hit those aces to, to close <laughs> things out now he mashes he's probably got the other three kings in hand he just keeps mashing them but <laughs> we're gonna see what he has it's a it's a king throw range i think at this yeah point. but he doesn't have one. Oh, okay Ugh, that's kind of a but it doesn't one. matter because he's got shenanigans so if he wins with that seven yeah. or the dodge possibly so, the dodge could kill <laughs> the ugly thing is he has the perfect grappler mix-up he's got the dominant throw and he's got blocks. And he also or, happens to have the Joker, so it's just... I mean, even dodges from Zane. He, if he flips a king off a dodge... Yeah, game over. Or even anything. It just makes anything else a win. I wonder if we see a greedy 7 attack here. Ooh. Nope. Oh, just safer, safer 7 throw, yeah. And that's and it. Unless, Raziac, uh, unless he has a Joker. Yeah, he's going to tie up the series. <laughs> it doesn't even bother. Forget what a bit... It. What a bit uh, it would have been great if he flipped like two more fours or something, then he yeah. couldn't kill. <laughs> would have been amazing. <laughs> well, I guess he drew a card since then, so who knows what was in his hand. Wait, no, he didn't. Never mind. So yeah, he, there was a chance he couldn't have killed off of that. <laughs> but no, no, he's, yeah, he he mills a four and the other Joker. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. So yeah, tie, uh, set tied up two two. <laughs> best of three get out of here Leontes. uh so yeah so both of these players have to win two more uh we probably see Troc come out from jenga jam uh on the other hand if we see Troc, then we're gonna see bbb again so That's he's gotta he's gotta factor that into his decision making oh there it is i think i'd rather have stuck grave but maybe jenga jam feels more comfortable this way yeah i feel like um he maybe like I mean that was a real walloping. Like let's let's not put uh, too fine a point on it. Uh, yeah. He he basically got just just molly um, from start to finish there. Uh, it's tough and, to compete with those Zane never ending throws. Yeah, exactly. So so it could be just so it could have been he, that he's he was just Ooh. demoralized like a little bit too too demoralized from that uh, from that particular game to try to attempt it anymore. Yeah, and, I uh, could see that. Nice six attack here. Flips a queen. Shenanigans being very kind right now. Could see the big damage. Oh, Ooh. and there it is. The always available Jack. <laughs> and still only goes down in... Uh, his hand size only drops by one. Yeah. For 29. Ugly. Which is impressive. <laughs> so now, so now uh, Troc in the advantage position. Uh, he is knocked down, so his king just beats everything. Except for... Uh, kings or jacks or queens from Raziak. Or yep. gold burst. Could see gold burst here. Ooh. Nope. King versus king. That's my tech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Red king wins, unfortunately. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, we, we've seen a 100% anti king range from uh, <laughs> Raziak so far. <laughs> Yep. Those queen. I mean, those six attacks are pretty safe. Oh my oh. goodness! Jenga just unwilling to block yet. Like, but he's he the, doesn't the believe. King. Power. The power of king is strong here. Oh, absolutely. Oh is, man, I mean, two kings a, already. That's a fine trade if you're even in life. But right now, when you're thirty down, ooh, yeah, rough Oof. stuff. The face cards, man. Yeah. They're putting work here. Yeah, yeah. We just have we just we have not seen a block yet from Jenga. There it is. There we go. Okay, good stuff. Good oh, stuff. the true block. Look at that. Same suit. <laughs> and same super rank. defeats that dodge. He's got to discard <laughs> another card. Yep, same suit and rank. You lose. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> creative, creative Zane nerfs. <laughs> So, that's uh, that's true anarchy. Unfortunately, uh, Raziak sitting at a healthy enough hand size that he's not really in danger of getting war stomped to death. Um, 
Does he have enough defense? I wonder if what his defense versus king is like now, after mm. losing two sixes, a seven, a and two kings. But does Jenga have another king? I think in this position, you're probably... Any jokers you have in hand should The defense! Be yeah, good stuff. I mean... Stuff. It's, yeah, those blocks good. work right now. They, blo <laughs> they work against this character. You don't need to... Uh, you're not going to get put to range. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Those Zane throws are real. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But he's, he's got to think about them in this match, right? Like, yeah, he's got good throws, but you're you know he's still facing a true grappler. There you go. Nice, good Jack. Notably playing the fast side just to play around the possibility of uh, of neutral Jack from from Raziak. Also preserves a bit more of his life in case he does. Uh, you know, potentially get run over by... Well, no, I guess the only thing it can really be beaten by is a 2 or a 3, and you don't really mind taking that trade. Yeah. Oh, no. Oof. That's... Not a bad idea. Well, he's he's used three sixes already. Oh. He's, play, he's playing the counter-counter odds again. Yeah, on the other hand, I mean... Um, he was expecting a throw and he need, really needed cards that's that's my thinking like it beats throws and uh, zane also has you know the seven and nine attack which are perfectly fine tools to be playing in neutral and he had another jack yeah so he's Awkward. gonna bring him down to almost to one combat away from dying yeah, unfortunately most likely. he is at that that butter zone of uh five cards in hand so if jenga jam can survive this um and stand up and he's if he's drawn enough tens he can put uh, Zane in a really, really awkward position, <laughs> as we saw Thello do against uh, Cloud Cuckoo Country. Oh, did he? Did we see an, an, a no double card no play? Card. <laughs> Dub double no card into eight into Eagle Totem for thirty, oh, there and we then go. followed up by uh, a true power of dubstep for forty-five damage to close <laughs> out the game. It was brutal. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it was. It was a sight to behold. <laughs> okay, so Jenga Jam gets some damage in. That's that's a fine trade. I mean, nineteen health, yep. seventeen health. You're still just as dead to a lost combat. Here we go. Stomp on him. <laughs> Give him the boot. He's gonna go for the mix-up normal. <laughs> the ultimate ignorance. <laughs> does does Raz give it to him though? Is the question. I mean, Let's it's see. it's the only like it's the real the real threat is is mix-up normal. So. We could see Raz try to stand up with an attack, oh, which makes blocking very good. It's, but it's the dream play from Troc to hit with a normal, but you <laughs> seldom see it work. I mean, if he's if he's double grown, it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, when it lands. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, I just dealt I just dealt thirty. <laughs> Hello. What is the top six seven eight becomes eight nine ten? Oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Good stuff. This, the safe side for the win. Yeah, undercuts that Jack. Very nice. Can he war stomp again? No. Draw abilities? No, okay. Zane this has is... his dodges. So we've seen three Jacks, two Queens, two Kings come out. Notably, no Aces whatsoever played. But again, the temptation really is uh, queen or king from Jenga Jam's side. Ooh, nice. He's, just, he's staying in it. Yeah, goes for the gutsy throw. He can get really good damage off of this. He can deal uh, 18. Or oh, 9. Okay. Actually, notably, probably the knockdown is better, can, like depending on his hand quality. Like if he, if he has some kind of tool to be oppressive here. Uh, hmm. Could be perfectly fine if he finds a if he finds a queen he can actually play around possibly hidden ace ace. Uh, from yeah, I mean the the queen would be as much damage as sticking on an eight though. So he's got to have something. I don't know. Also, we'll see what this leads into. But I w I think I would have gone for mix up damage. I, I would just want to gone for damage on that win. Oh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the mix ups. Yeah. Do we have? <laughs> Does he have it? Does he have Ace Ace? Oh, but he's probably got oh. the Joker. We have, he has a mill, but he's gone through a lot of his deck. Oh, no! Okay, well, no, that's fine, that's fine. You get rid of a Jack, you put him at two cards in hand. I just wanted to see a, str a Troc straight. <laughs> we all want that. 
in our secret hearts, in our secret hearts deep down. Yeah. That's that's what we all want. <laughs> when I'm not playing versus truck, I want to see those straights. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, hoof prints all over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Up and down that torso. <laughs> oh, uh, that's the one. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Could see the hidden aces. Good play. <laughs> in there. <laughs> I think we'll probably go back to, to Grave, because that just gives him an all-around good matchup spread for game. I think he could force it to game seven. I don't know. Like, I mean, if he say, oh, he's going to stay truck and yeah, try that's and... What I, that's what I was thinking. Like, you, you, he went 1-1 against BBB, so he's got a 50-50 if he... T like, if he feels like he can definitely win this matchup, um, he's got a 50-50 waiting for him in the next one, so... Or, or mm. better than that, I mean... Yeah, I mean... Very, very close. A lot of times... Truck... I mean, a lot of times truck is de depending on getting certain cards to be able to fight BBB, and I hate depending Yeah, you, on don't, you don't want to rely that. on your deck, for sure. Yeah. But, um... Sometimes but, you I gotta... Mean, and Trucks, see, I trucks get, cards are good. I mean, you can... Yeah, I mean, you just gotta get the face cards to fight <laughs> off BBB. There we go, there good we go. Locks. Good so stuff. I, he's filling them out now. Uh, he... Didn't throw early last game, yep. so he's changing his game. Well, we haven't seen... Yeah, we haven't seen... Uh, I mean, we. I guess we could still. That was just the first combat, but uh, Raz not, choosing not to adjust to uh, first turn throw um, against uh, Jenga Jam here. Uh, he did get very nice mileage out of his... Uh, we could see... We, that three attack might have been bait for a king, so we could see a six, seven, or eight, or six, seven, or nine attack um, from Raziak here. Mm -hmm. Cheeky see queen. It. There it There's is, the and he'll block yeah. it. <laughs> oh, so close to the true block. Yeah, it was black in the rank, but so Trot <sighs> goes up to eight cards in hand and has the threat of dubstep. He's got his. He's got his. Uh, got his dj equipment out <laughs> he's got his records ready oh man he's a <laughs> he's a you're already feeling the the threat of beast unleashed here with with no power-ups <laughs> the threat is real secret yeah secret beast unleashed is best beast unleashed right? like, <laughs> it's like t first turn checkmate buster is the best move you can possibly play like always play yeah. it if you have it <laughs> Has that ever come up? <laughs> More than you'd think. <laughs> really? Really? Has it hit? First or second turn. Well, okay. a, a gentleman never tells. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 60% <laughs> of the time it hits every time. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So uh, good, good setup here. Uh, Jenga Jam in control of the situation. Oh, there we go. Okay. He's going to continue building a hand, but losing an eight. But notably, uh, getting sixes out of uh, Zane's repertoire. So those uh, the mix-ups, when... Uh, I mean, Trock doesn't really need to listen to mix-ups, uh, but he can now credibly yeah. just odd block um, on yep. knockdown if he has it. And hope he doesn't get hit by a two. <laughs> or I thrown guess. for maximum <laughs> disrespect. Yeah. Ten throw into tw into ten throw. Oh, oh Zane's going to be able to build up his hand as well. Yeah. Raz uh, probably adjusting to the fact that Jenga Jam hasn't really been uh, throwing a lot. Not this game, at least. Yeah. So uh, making the threat, the threat of block forever until anarchy uh, a little bit more real. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> uh... Blocking Trox attacks though feel pretty good though because it's, I mean you you block I mean you're risking taking twenty to stop seven additional damage from his so you take two chip from already but yeah so you, I guess you stop nine but you risk taking twenty so it feels so good when it pays off. Ooh, Ooh. Uh oh how real is this? Get your dongers ready. <laughs> you think it's oh there we go. Oh no. <laughs> wow, didn't even face down. Didn't even face down at I mean, all. That, I think face down there would have been pretty absurd. There's it's so slim a chance. Oh come on, he's got nine it, <laughs> To get three what though did we, what did we say? Have these people learned nothing from playing to the odds? Like, the playing the odds only bit him one game. <laughs> and then it it hurt him. It hurt him real bad. <laughs> well, because then he then, then he countered by not playing the odds and it <laughs> Or maybe he just didn't have any other blocks, but... Now we see Beast Unleashed. Aww. Ooh, going for that, that 
would have been a hilarious cross up. Oh, yeah, but a greedy seven attack. Seven into like Jack. Raziak calls it out with the <laughs> wake up queen. Yeah. Good or maybe that was he's out of normals that beat King and he's still afraid of it. Could well be. But he, but he got a good shenanigans flip, yeah. and he of course he has the Jack. No other queens in hand, or he. Well, no, he may and have he'll, another queen in hand. He might be conserving it to play around King. And he ties up the game with yeah. that win. Is that his first combat win? Uh, I mean, first combat win that led to damage? No, that was actually his first combat win. Okay. Or, sorry, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, he might he blocked a couple of times and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, so first one that led to damage. Yeah. I think Trox won two, maybe? Like, I think he got a dodge and a jack. Mm -hmm. So, Zane catches up. Still even, and I would still say, if it's even, ooh. Trox advantaged. Wake up, King. Very nice. I wonder what that... He was really... I don't know, I don't know what that 10 throw was expecting. Um, safe block. Like, conservative block. Yeah. I don't think... Has Jenga Jam been blocking on knockdown, though? Uh, well, we talked about the fact that, you know, with, with that many sixes in the discard pile, it's kind of more likely that you can just stand yeah. up off a, off a block. I agree that it's probably not... I mean, there's no reason for Jenga Jam really to take the risk, and the fact that he wasn't able to really fill in that combo with much more, and he's got a lot of nines out of his hand. King, King's very, very safe. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, this is ugly. Here we go. I think that was the success of King in the previous game that probably was thinking, Raziak was thinking, he's going to expect the King, so I'll grab him Yeah. with the throw, would be my guess. But now, now I think MA is potentially real. Now I would be afraid of... <laughs> And so this coming out. still no no power ups from uh, from Jenga Jam yet. I'm not afraid of Beast Unleashed, but I am afraid of uh, the Anarchy. Yeah, well, that would put him in a very very uncomfortable position. Twenty yep. health against fifty. The Joker is loose on Gotham. Is all I can say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ooh. Oh, nice. The truck is not afraid. Steely eyes, courage. He's been, he's been, Jenga Jam's been good about not being afraid. He just plays what he wants to play. Yep. Oh, okay. I was so wrong. Now, he, now he's unleashed. Oh, uh, but here's the thing. Is it real now? Like, we're not, sh we're st still, you can't be sure. Raziak has powered up for three aces before. Yeah, I've seen uh, it. Not had him. it and just gone for the throw. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily at those times, I'm used, I, I play Grave versus him quite a bit. Yeah. And so, like, whenever he does that, I was like, I'll just take a peek with yeah. the seven. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Let me see if he's being <laughs> yeah. cheeky. Uh, so ooh, is it real? Ooh, oh, and he's going to stop it. That's it. There you go. That's it. This game is probably over. I don't know. I've seen, I've seen Zane's bounce back. He's got another Joker ready For to sure. go. It's the, 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 uh, the odds definitely climbed very, very hard in, uh, in Jenga Jam's favor. He just yeah. needs to not make too many mistakes. Uh, find you the damage feel, where you can, and then close this out. Yeah, you feel great when you block it, though. Oh, it's yeah. like it's the, one of the best things in the game to block. Yeah. I you guess can't, probably you can't the best. it unless you're on the Maru. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you could you could trade with it, but it's never a fun trade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> unless it wins the game, but <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Is I want to see Satsuki trade with it and win. Ooh, that's, that's the life. Goal. There a, it is. I t oh, wow, I called it. The wow, one wow, call wow, I wow. got. <laughs> Okay, rip. I'm back in it. Pack it My up. money has been recouped <laughs> on the gold up. burst call. It's over. The, yeah, I was good. bound to get one. I was. <laughs> so I think Jenga Jam's probably just like like furiously rifling through his deck. Like, give me a friggin' dodge. What's wrong with you? <laughs> He's going for the deck out win. My, uh, <laughs> oh, ultimate my salt. Call. Oop. There we go. Found found a dodge. Isn't that the worst though? When when your deck finds you the card you've been waiting for, and then if you would have like continued playing how you would have been playing if you didn't get that card, it would have won combat. But yeah. since you got the card, <laughs> you're like. So the but, dodge probably indicates he does have Beast Unleashed, or at least he has two aces. Um, or he's just trying to blink in some ten. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. I think that's probably a misread on what uh, what Raziek wants to do in this situation. Probably has the king in hand. Or a jack in hand, maybe? Something to knock down. Oh no, wow, dodge into six. I mean, sometimes going for knock... Like, if his hand is... is like, would just die to king, you wouldn't want to play the knockdown if you had it. True. That's one thing you have to... 
one of the few things you have to pay attention to in the matchup. Make sure you don't die to King. <laughs> it's on the Zane side. Yeah. So always have an option that could beat it is a good rule of thumb. But see, and he's only played one so far. Yeah, so future kings definitely definitely a possibility. Raz just has to be right many, many times in a row here. <laughs> like, yeah, the lower hand size. Serious amount of times in a row. I mean, he's, even on the lower hand size, we've been seeing him doing 20 plus. Yep, nice queen. Oh. Yep. Stuffs the anti-king play. Puts him into almost eagle totem range. Not a bad range to be. But so he's two, yeah, two combats away unless he could grab him with a beast unleashed, yeah, or some sort of crazy normal straight. Yeah, so fast normal is probably the the safest thing that Razia can play here. Ooh, okay, our dodge good stuff, yeah. Gets around the uh, aces. Zane has sixteen dodges, so he's got a plethora. Oh, for sure. Of those, so he could dodge for days. And notably, he only goes down one card because he can just. Okay, chooses to get the knockdown here. Um, probably we see an anti-king play here. Anti-king play or dodge? Because mm -hmm. the response is either king or queen. <laughs> 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 Although block yeah. would be perfectly fine. Oh no, Ooh. that's no, the anti. That was the anti-king yeah, play you were talking about. Play. I wonder. Oh, I guess he was. Yeah. He's playing it safe, and I guess he doesn't need the extra damage at this point, because putting him at 16 will get him a kill. Exactly. Well, I guess, well, if he, had, if he would have hit with the other side, it would have opened up King to kill, but... True. But, but he's playing it safe. I don't think you want to fret about... I mean, you're at 49 health, uh, Anarchy has been diffused. Um, yep. Good call. Play it safe. Yeah. And he'll get Ooh, smashed. Ooh, nice. Lands a, king, uh, lands a queen. This can lead into some damage, although... Uh, Troc notably has not war stomped very often this game. He's not at all played any tens. Uh, so you Eight. want to be careful about pursuing this more than like a shenanigans card. I don't know. I don't think, yeah. Yeah, that card wasn't going to do anything anyway. Yeah, I mean, he does have to find the damage. So, probably three wins for Raziak, unless Troc's got jokers and... A win for Troc. Yeah, and uh, Raz out. has played four queens here, so a lot of his combo potential and, and max damage off a of combo is 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 a like, very kind of awkwardly below thirty health. So he does need to win more than one combat here. Yeah, def Yeah, I don't. He can. I don't think he could ever do thirty outside of MA. I guess with uh, attacking into some ace ace, but that's not on the table. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, just conservative play from Jenga Jam here. Cause he can. Yep. Don't uh, just don't don't make a silly mistake and uh, end up in the evening news is the, uh, <laughs> the name of the game here. You don't want to get run over by yeah. uh, secret nonsense. Oh, nine health is a dangerous health to be at. For sure. He has used three queens though. Odds are he doesn't have one. <laughs> I like the I like the inflection in your voice when you said that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, three three jacks, three queens <clears throat> played. So king is very very likely here. He's gonna he mash any face cards he's got. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> gets tagged. Oh dear. What's yeah, this gonna he, lead into? Either he's just playing more safe, or he doesn't have any face cards to play in a mix up. Yeah. Ooh, Perfectly flips the nine, which is pretty here. fantastic for him. That's like, his, that's like the best flip he could have gotten, unless he, I guess, I feel like, I'm not sure uh, if he wants him knocked down. Oh, he does want him knocked down. Wow. I was very unsure about that, uh, Man. that follow-up. So, yeah. But I guess you have to take it some percentage of the time. You don't want to give Troc free health. I've noticed Zane players will play into face-downs if shenanigans tells him to. Right. Like, I mean, if that with flip... The, with a hand like that, where that would have been what? He prevented... Nine. 18 damage. Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're going Man. to go for it, you go for it in that situation. 18 damage on that low card of a hand of character. I mean, that would have put Troc at 6. He would have taken the life lead. That's just yeah. bananas. And throw into lethal. 
Oh, oh no! Oh, oh man! Oh god! Oh the god, one time no. he doesn't play safe. Oh no! Why? Why? <laughs> oh god! He's, why? He's been playing safe all game. And and the the problem is, I mean, like, he's got low hand, but he's there's still two kings in that deck. Like, there's still two Zane kings sitting around there. <sighs> Oh god, okay. Things just got way more tense really, really quickly. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Both of these players probably sweating bullets right now. Pressure is definitely has, more on yeah. Jenga Jam. He's got to win this to stay in. Unless he has Joker. Oh, oh no! Oh man! Oh god, there's that king. So that's three. That's three kings gone. So if he has another king, he could check. It's pretty much he can't lose. Just play king. And you can't lose. Um... I think he still. Gets oh, never mind. It, it hits first. Never mind. Never mind. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. Cancel so, that. Okay. So and and Jenga Jam putting the threat of Ace Ace on the table. So this is going That's to a be a a dodge. A, uh, I mean, <laughs> you yeah, can't even dodge anti king. I guess. I mean, like dodge throw from Raziak. <laughs> like <laughs> one of those two. <laughs> I don't know. It's oh man, I can't even think right now. This well, is no, just he's, too much. sorry. He's got to have attacks in his range to play around kings. Yep. As well, so probably more likely dodge attack. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Wow! He finds it. Oh, rough. I Maybe guess that would have. Could he could have traded with that seven? Well, yeah. That I mean, yeah. Seven. Any normal that did. Five or more damage was just so safe there. Yeah. Rough stuff. Uh. Oh, that's that's a tough loss to take from uh, from Jenga Jam. Yeah. Very that, uh, very close set. Good. I mean, really well played by both players. Unfortunate that. Oh, man, that one mistake. Oh, I'm sure he's kicking himself for that for that slow jack. Ugh. Yeah, that I was really surprised to see that he would just. At that point, I guess he just really wanted to close out the game. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, but ah, uh, man, good, good set, and uh, and uh, Raziak will advance to play uh, CPAT in the West Realm finals. So West Realm is going to be CPAT versus Raziak, playing for the honor of uh, of joining the the Yomi Bowl. Nice. Um, and then East Realm is Carandio versus Thello. Hmm. So nice mix of uh, we've got like one very very new player, um, also who's also happens to be repping a, an incredibly strong Jaina uh, on top hmm. of everything else. <laughs> oh, there you go. Single handedly making Jaina people think of uh, <laughs> of Jaina as relevant in the meta. <laughs> um, That's something. So what do you think? What do you think about those two matchups? Uh, Trox Zane or well, uh, no, th the those two uh, those two sets. Um, oh, Raziak versus uh, I guess Raziak versus uh, CPAT. I have not seen CPAT play much. I know he he's around some, yeah. and then he's kind of. Uh, I've always just kind of seen him as like the hype man. He'll show up in matches and <laughs> go nuts. He'll hype it up. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him play too often. I've never seen the. Uh, the other guy, the Jaina player you mentioned. Oh, uh, Grandio. Okay. Yeah. So, Actually, I'm trying to think. So, okay, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Raziak uh, CPAT a bit. Uh, CPAT. Okay. I mean, play. He's one of those guys. He's like Jenga Jam. He's got just you know infinity character experience. He's been around since uh, version one. Uh, really strong player. He plays. I think a mix. Uh, like he has a strong Zane. Um, he has a strong Setsuki. And then he okay. just has really. I mean, he's competent with the rest of the cast. I don't know if there's another character I would really consider him kind of to be, uh, like, main status with. But that's just my own exper inexperience. It's not um, anything to say about, about CPAT. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I think my, my most recent experience with him, I see him cheering for Persephone. What? <laughs> or, yeah. Or he, he'll, he wants to see the Vortex happen a lot, or... <laughs> I think we probably don't see Persephone in uh, <laughs> in the finals. My 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 
I think the most likely thing we're going to see, uh, given how uh, Raziak feels about the matchup, and given especially how good Raziak is in Zane versus Zane, um, that we're going to see um, Raziak play something versus C Pat Satsuki. Mm. What um, is it in the, the Zane versus Zane matchup though? What does it take? Like, what is the the tech? The secret tech there just seems like be the one who's knocking the other guy be, down, be and the then you best. win. Be the best Zane <laughs> is the the tech. Get, like, get more kings than the other guy. <laughs> I don't know what the secret is that 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 uh, that guides uh, Raziak's play in that matchup, um, bec- but he has something like a sixty percent win rate in that matchup. Like, if like if I choose if I'm gonna pick anything to play him in, I am not playing him Zane v Zane. Like that just okay. seems like like a, a, a big mistake, big okay. big mistake. <laughs> It just seems like it's pretty much don't get hit by King is the <laughs> yeah is what you want to is the main guideline yeah don't get hit by King but also don't get thrown too often and then get knocked down and then also don't get you know meatied and then also like well, it's just there's not, there's not much you could do to stop the meaties unless you have King <laughs> yeah it's just it's just awful it's just awful. yeah it's it's a really bizarre probably the most bizarre mirror in the game for sure like it's the i think it's the fastest mirror in the game like yeah if anybody well, puts like uh gloves on anybody else they're, they're the health totals just disappear yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so just one one seems like one guy will just crumble yeah, yeah. the first guy to get knocked down just like withers away <laughs> so so i'll be interested to see what uh, what raziak plays against uh i think overwhelmingly likely setsuki play from cpat i know he's so not you, He's not a huge fan of uh, Zane versus Setsuki. Hmm. Um, notably, you know, I, I mean, think I think he's gone either even or he's maybe one game down or one game up against Fivek, who's the notable, like, yep. you know, Setsuki loyalist only ever play Setsuki. Yeah, it's um, a tough Setsuki. Yeah, sure. definitely, really, really strong. Um, so, so I'm I'm not sure how that's going to go. That should definitely be a close match, no matter what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, Fello versus Carandio is going to be interesting. I mostly see Fello play Troc and BBB. Yeah, I think it's, it's very just... likely that we continue seeing that versus um, Jaina. I'm not sure how I feel about that uh, particular two <laughs> two team combo. Yeah, well the thing is, okay, so Jaina Jaina is considered a very good pick against BBB. Obviously, um, mm-hmm. she just you know she can recur all of the answers to any normal po like any range play um yep. that and also has. i mean she does chip with with jack i mean she could just played 2.6 beat jack for five chip yeah she anything. has she has she can trade with ace ace yeah um not you know not ideal in the late game definitely but you know you have the you have at least the option i mean it should be about it should be pretty fine to trade because bbb I mean, she's been taking life to her own innate, but then she's been doing more chip damage, probably, than she's been dealing to herself. And yeah. BBB starts with five less life, as long as she didn't get munched in range. Yeah. And I mean, notably, even, even, the fast ver- even the fast side of Jack is going, to, is going to either stuff something for six or hit a block for five. So, yeah. I mean, that's not even that bad a combat loss. Um, yeah, getting, getting to range is... Should it be your game plan when playing the matchup? It should be just try and do damage by the means. Because BBB's got single ace in the early game. Jack is really good in the early game. Yeah. Because it'll beat all her combo starting options and lead to some good damage. Uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much his attack options versus her <laughs> in the early game. Yeah. Because uh, nothing else is really going to be beating stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, I think, you could get. Yeah. I think Jaina, Jaina versus Troc is probably also something. I mean, it's probably something that uh, Fellow feels comfortable playing. Um, again, I know nothing about Troc, so I can't really speak with any kind of authority on that matchup. Um, but I think it's very likely that Fellow brings Troc and BBB to that matchup, and probably fairly likely that uh, Carandio brings a mix of Jaina and Grave. Okay, so that's his, his two... He does, does a two-character combo? Um, I think he also likes Argagarg. Okay. But I don't know if we see that uh, come out. Argagarg versus Troc, probably not. Yeah. Uh, versus BBB, he's 
he's good. I could, I don't know, but yeah, I guess I mean BBB can't really knock him down, and the uh, the innate works even at range. So yeah, uh, I've never seen that matchup. I'd be I'd be very interested to see that matchup in a professional, in a, <laughs> you know, in a in a tournament capacity. I've Should played it like funny. in casuals. It's kind of bizarre. Uh, BBB has trouble like. <sighs> To get good throw damage, it's really card intensive yeah. for the most part. So it could be a lot of going block block with him, and so you're taking innate damage. And even if you if you get him to range though, Arg doesn't have that great of answers. I mean he could I mean if you have King Throw, he could struggle. Even right. if he trades with the best he could do is trade with your queen. With his queen oh. or I mean, he could undercut it with Ace Ace, but that's kind of fine. Very, um, yeah, it's expensive. It's kind of yeah. It's kind of grappler matchup-y. Uh, yeah, except now that for I think about it. I mean, Ark does have more counterpokes. He's got his two. He's got his Jack. He's got his Queen. Well, but notably, doesn't have his King. Uh, I mean, he still has yeah. it as an option, but it will lose to two. Yeah. Um, so, a little bit more awkward, maybe. But. Hitting, hitting. Uh, Ace, his ace, his bubble shield to go to range is unfortunate. I've had, uh, <laughs> it's a funny interaction at range. I think I've hit an, I've hit an ace to go to range once, and then both uh, myself, playing BB and the opponent, played our queens. So <laughs> I lost range, but we both did zero damage to each other. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that if you have bubble, if you get bubble shield up, you just you no longer take. I mean, you still take block damage, so he still mm. has queen in order to pressure you. But yeah, so if he has bubble shield up, he, if you he still can't really block reliably because <laughs> the queen will still grind him for thirteen. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. Yeah. So okay. So for the sake of uh, for the sake of knowledge building, I hope we see that matchup. I doubt we're going to see that though. I think it's yeah. much more likely that we're going to see Jane versus Trock. Another um, interesting point, though. Sorry, one quick oh, uh, thing on the the BBB arg yeah. overdrive versus arg. Is pretty great. If you could get it to go off, if you could get Arg knocked down and then get an overdrive to go off, Arg has his only answers to to Queen are to trade with it and take sixteen and deal zero, or play a play Ace Ace to undercut it and lose two Aces or to Joker. Ooh. Uh, I I, <laughs> I had one game in the matchup once where I play overdrive and dodge a Joker into like sixteen or eleven for the knockdown or whatever. <laughs> Oh, and then I did it. I was. I think I was able to do it again. And then oh, at that time, God. I could just grind him for sixty. Yeah, those are the those are the best BBB combat wins at range. Just dodging yeah. gold burst <laughs> into pummels. Just yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Thelos had a lot of success with that too, man. Absolutely. Team. Yeah, he's so. a, he's got a brutal robot. Definitely, I think the strongest BBB um, in the uh, on the server. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's definitely up there. Like, Two times ago I played him. He used Lum, which I'd never seen him play before. Mm. So I don't know if he will pull it out ever again, but I've only ever seen him use Lum the one time. Well, that, that's the thing. Like, like as, as the programmer for the site, uh, I know he's talked about the fact that, you know, when he was building the AIs, like the, the Yomi bots, uh, he had to play every character and really think about, like, you know, in order to give them even the approximation of, of good AI, <laughs> okay. a fairly good understanding of that makes you know, what sense. they want to be doing in different states mm -hmm. of the game and how they should be valuing their cards for power up and stuff like that. So, okay, um, yeah, I, I mean, no surprise to see him in playoffs at all for sure. Yeah, he's he's really strong. Uh, I think he went eleven one in yeah the first phase of it yeah which was my was was my one feather in the cap i didn't i got i went six five with mono bbb but i was the one person that beat him nice <laughs> it, good stuff yeah that's definitely definitely something to be proud of for sure i mean he stuck with bbb so he played five games of bbb mirror <laughs> which I, I know a lot of people hate on that mirror but i love that it's matchup fantastic. i don't yeah. I understand no like there are so it's few amazing. mirrors in this game that i think are are bad i think there might be like, Zane v. Zane is weird, but clearly there's something at work, because otherwise Raziak wouldn't be so goddamn consistently good at it. Uh, um, I think probably every other mirror in the game is pretty pretty damned interesting. Yeah, some of the times. Sometimes, I mean, for me, some of the grappler mirrors could get a little wonky. They're the best, but that's the <laughs> best! Because all of a sudden you're like, oh, hey, I by the way, I chose to play a grappler so that I could have dominant throws, and it turns out that I now have to play a standard 
game with the grappler. <laughs> like all of our, you know, like attack speeds matter. All of a sudden, yeah. people just yeah. freak out. Like, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I mean, Rook's actually getting in like 10, 10 hit, ten attacks without having to rock arm them. Which is, those are just the worst to get hit by. Yeah, exactly. Get the normal uh, draw off it too. Yeah. Six strats. The six of strats. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't mind grappler versus grappler, but like Rook, Rook. Troc, Troc, and like Midori, Midori, I'm just like, oh man, what's <laughs> yeah. happening? It's nightmare inducing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why it's the best. That's why it's the yeah. best thing ever. I don't know. I'll take, uh, I guess, different strokes, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's not like, I'm not saying it's horrible, like, I wouldn't, like, run away from it, but <laughs> they're not my favorite mirrors. Yeah, that's fair. Uh... So thank you, uh, Clan, for for joining me on the cast. That was fantastic. Good fun. Oh yeah. Hopefully, I brought <laughs> a minor amount of interesting. Uh, oh, absolutely, things to say. absolutely. Uh, I'm always glad to have somebody else on the cast who can say smart things, so, so I don't have to. So all my stupid things are canceled out by somebody saying smart things. Okay. I hope I hope I qualified for some of those. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I felt like I was doing a lot of gambling this particular. <laughs> no, that's fine. Cast. See, we're playing along, you know. When you you got to play yeah. the game along with them. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. I really think he's gonna throw here. Yeah, and, and true. Shout when you're wrong. Bad, strictly incorrect play. <laughs> <laughs> After we have the knowledge of what they played. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> then, we, then we let them have it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, good stuff. For sure. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you'd like to get in on this Yomi action, if you'd like to prepare yourself for International Yomi League Season 4, uh, I know this season isn't quite over yet, but we've got to prepare for the future. So if you want to get some games in, you want to get your practice time in before that challenge uh, goes off, you can join us at fantasystrike.com. Uh, just head to the store. You can buy 10 characters at a time for about 15 bucks. Or uh, if you prefer to play it on Steam, it's also available through there. Links, as always, will be available in the notes below. Uh, and again, 10 characters, about 15 bucks. Uh, come join us. And until next time, enjoy yourselves some Yomi.